Hello and welcome back to Flight Sim World. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today we're going to be skirting the Alps. As you can see over there, they, there are the Alps in the distance. All around there. We're in Italy and we are at Lima, India. Mike Zulu, that's a... Uh, Level Level Digi Airport, Level Digi Airport, right near the border of the Swiss Alps, and we're just going to be doing a short run to uh, Torino Cas uh, Casel, Torino Casel Airport or Caselli Airport, which is a Lima India Mike Foxtrot. It's not going to be too long a run, and we're going to be just doing a, a little bit of a flight, having a look at the area it was requested by one of the subscribers so i am going to be doing that um and if you really do enjoy these videos do make sure you hit that like button so that i know you guys are enjoying these types of videos and uh yeah all that kind of great stuff obviously that will go afterwards let's switch on a few few bits and bobs over here we're not going to worry about uh, the autopilot because I, I don't like the autopilot in this aircraft. I really like the aircraft, but I don't like the autopilot in the aircraft. I think everything seems to be okay over here. So let's get this ready to go. So we're going to take off and then we're going to... I'll tell you what, actually. Let's tune in the uh, one of the VORs that we're going to need. So we're definitely going to be needing 114.5. Uh, so let's get 114.5 tuned up right there. Fantastic! I don't know where that's going to be on on the uh, on the set setup, and uh, we'll try and we'll try and fly towards that on a radial of. Hmm. I'm just having a look at the maps here. If I fly runway heading and then go north, that should be pretty good. Uh, then I'll loop back and around. Okay, yeah. And this this makes sense to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take off, then we're going to fly uh, on a heading of we're currently zero three one. We're going to change to a heading of zero four five. Uh, then we're going to join up on the uh, not the heading, not that uh, the course. There we go. And then we're going to join up on it on the one eight zero. So actually, we're going to be basically wanted to go completely due north like so uh, I'm kind of interested in something I just want to check something out here if I do that that one no it still changes the same thing I was hoping that that might change the other the other localized I don't I still don't know how to change that I, d I just don't know uh, what we're going to do that on the top one we're going to tune in uh, oh, hang on a minute do we need to tune in 114.5 up here hold on Is that the one we want? I should be able. To, I should be okay with that. Actually, up here we're going to tune in uh, the ILS for the airport we're going to be landing at, which is a one hundred eight point seven. There we go. We tune that in. All right. Well, let's just uh, let's get things going. Let's bring that up. That gives us some topology. Or topological data as you can see there you go you can see all the mountains there we're gonna fly over to there so you can see all the mountains in the in the area so uh, let's have a look what else do I need and nothing nothing there everything's good okay let's take off and let's see if I can let's see if I can get this right So what I learned about this aircraft is that you don't you don't generally need flaps to get this aircraft in the air. Maximum power, keep that nose down. Sure all the lights are on. Oh, I don't want that dome light on. I'm gonna switch that dome light off very shortly. Once we hit about 85 knots, I'm going to take off. Keeping this aligned on the center line of the runway. There we go, 85 knots, positive rate. Nice and smooth takeoff here. There we go. And at this point in time, I will switch off the dome light. Trim that aircraft in nicely for a climb. And look at that. That is fantastic. That's really done well. The VOR has been picked up. Happy about that. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue flying this way for a few moments and then we're going to change direction. And there's the Alps. Let's have a let's have a look outside for this. Look at that in the distance. Looking good. Looking good. And we will get a pretty good view of this at some point. Uh, I'll zoom out a little bit more so you... No, actually I don't like that. I was going to say I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see better, but I don't like... I don't like the way that's doing that. Right, let's get ourselves into some sort of cruise power. There we go. It's pretty good to me. And we will get ourselves leveled off around, should we say, around 4,000 feet. Let's, work, let's go for about 4,000 feet here. I think that, that will work out quite nicely for us. Right, so anyway, let's get ourselves on the heading we wanted to. We've drifted quite significantly from, from the original heading. That's okay. And we'll go to a heading of 045. Yes, I know about the mixture. There we go. That will that will do. That will do. I think technically we should have this on the other. You know what? You know what this. You know what the problem is. We need that. That's what we need. There we go. Because I can't get the second one working. So this one actually I'm going to switch to uh, 108.7. 108.7 there. That'll give us some ILS information. And then we can probably get that course for... Uh, what did you want in the course? No, we wanted north. Let's assume that correctly. I know the aircraft is turning. It's not a problem. About 5,000 feet actually I want to level off at this point in time I do want to level off I'm actually going to switch on the autopilot system now and going to set the altitude to let's go five and a half five and a half thousand feet uh, altitude hold we'll go for current heading hold as well then we can swap the heading around and there we go. Awesome. And there we, now we can have a nice look around the area. Which is exactly what this episode is. This is just an episode to look around the area to see what we have and what we don't have. I'm actually going to reduce the propellers back. Like so. That's pretty good. I'll drop the throttles back a little bit as well. We don't need to be going faster than... The speed we are currently going. All right, awesome. And there's the Alps over there. Look at that. That's quite a view. That is quite a view. So where's the city? The city isn't going to be too far for us. Let's actually uh, let's have a look at the information that we have. Uh, 30 miles it says I believe that's no that's not right that's not what it means GPS localizer uh, nav hmm. nope that's not what I want hmm. I don't think I can pick up the not that I am definitely trying to pick... I'm trying to get it up on here. That's why I'm trying to get it. I don't know how, though. Oh, interesting. It's reading that on that one. 
This is a problem. This is definitely a problem. And uh, tell you what, can I get? All right, get me some. Yeah, get me that, and I need to see. Uh, hmm. Not that. Does that even work? I don't think it does. Uh, actually, maybe it does. Find out. Is that traffic avoidance system? Standby. Operating. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm stuck in this mode. Oh, great. Come on. Aha! Hang on. That has come alive for us. Whichever one that was. So I'm actually going to change my heading now. And we're going to head three five zero at this point in time. So look now we can get a really good look at what's around the area. Nice northern side of Italy. So I suppose you would call this the Italian Alps? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's get rid of that. Let's make sure that that is definitely set for north. That is definitely set for north. Um, just trying to work out what's showing what. Okay, okay, that's... Okay, this is better. Right. That is one of them that is the other that will give me the low okay that's good right so that's going to give me the glide slope and the instrument approach for that but for now it looks like we're just going to be doing a bit of free flight is that the city that I was looking at that might be the city I don't know we'll find out we will certainly find out here's of course I'm so stupid here's our measurements so we're seven point we're seven nautical miles from uh, the Torino VOR. Hopefully we're headed directly towards it. Zero minutes? Why does it say that? Um, yeah, I think we are headed directly towards it, so let's... Let's do this. And let's try and get back our, our map. Which I, I don't know how to get back. No. Nope. Uh, no. No, no, no. Clear. What have I done here? Inside airspace, yeah, I know that. I just want to... Ooh. What have I done here? Everything's gone dark on my map. Is that meant to happen? It's like it's gone into some sort of night mode. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, well, that's... Right. I don't want it to do that. I want it to... Okay, somebody help. I really should probably read a manual on a Garmin. Oh, but the map's back. I've got the map back. That's that's a good sign. Right, let's get ourselves. Um, uh, where should we? What should we do here? I tell you what. Let's turn towards. Let's do this. We're going to turn on a course of two seven zero. There we go. Whilst I try and work out what on earth is going on here. We're holding speed remarkably well. Ah, display brightness. There we go. Uh, perfect. Brightness, 100%. Mode. Uh, come on, change. No, not that one. Auto. Great, here we go. Air speeds. We can put in our air speeds. Great. Uh, wind vector. Let's put that on. Star 1. We have no winds. That's good. 
Okay. Uh, that's that works for me. That works for me. That works for me. Oh, great! This is this is good. Oh, wow! Uh, I didn't know we had all of this stuff. Database, LRV. Well, I, no, I just want to go back to the... Can I go back to the flight? Please let me go back to... How have I ended up here? Stop. Stop. Don't, don't mess around with this. There we go. Back to, back to this. Awesome. Right, so there's, there's the Alps ahead of us. There's a city below us. Let's have a look outside again. Ooh, that actually looks quite nice. That does look quite Italian. Nice colours, top of the roofs. Uh-huh. That's it. That's actually well... That's fairly well done. I tell you what, let's, let's go and do a bit of a loop around there. So, we've got the Alps here. This must be a really nice view in real life. So let's go, let's go from here, let's take a turn back to 360, there we go, as a matter of fact we're actually lining up with the, with the ILS just out of a Yeah, we're just lining up with the ILS somehow. Which is remarkable. So, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to switch that onto up here as well. And, uh, there we go. Of course, it needs to be that. We're almost, uh... We're almost on the ILS. Are we on the glide? Uh, we are too high for the for the current yeah we're currently too high so we can actually let's bring the aircraft down to say 2,000 feet uh, the vertical speed of minus 700 bring the power back we'll uh, bring the mixture rich and the props up there's the actual runway there's the wow that's that's really that's a bit of luck isn't it I knew it was over the city but ooh, that's nice that's actually really nice a city on the edge of the Alps that would be I think that would be really really nice yes I know we're not leaned correctly but I am landing the aircraft so shush all right right we need to bring our Vertical speed even lower, and I'm going to idle the engines here so we can bring the aircraft down nicely. There we go. the The aircraft is now slowing down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow the slow the aircraft down, and as the aircraft slows down, that should help us line up pretty well uh, on the glide slope. Obviously, like I said, the biggest issue I've got here is that is not easily visible but I know for a fact I mean I can see the lights here I know that where we are certainly to All right let's get that on to 002 which is the final approach cruise uh, sorry final approach course whilst we cruise in C cruise there yeah, that was all wrong yes shush no don't do that that uh, we want uh, not the course altitude we're going to bring it down now to a thousand feet. I can't exactly see the runway. Oh, there, there's the lights. I can see the lights now. We are slowing down very nicely. At this point, I think I can get the landing gear out. That's going to help us slow down even further. And it's also going to allow us to get back on the glide somewhat. As we're dropping at a thousand foot per minute and still slowing down, I can actually increase this rate of descent to 1,500 foot per minute and slow the aircraft down even further so now at 120 knots we're almost in flaps range which is a, a good sign 
This is actually a nice approach over the city. Let's have a nice look. Yes, shush, flying tips. That's actually really nice. I like it. Right, let's get this aircraft landed back to where we need to be able to see. There we go. Right. Uh, is this even... I don't even think this is going to happen. I really don't think this is going to happen, but... Uh, we're going to try. Okay. Let's get one stage of flaps out. We're in that range. And no, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. We're going to actually... Uh, kill the autopilot at that point in time and now just go fully manual yes I'm, I'm actually I think this is going to be a good landing a little bit off course which is odd um, given we were on autopilot and the autopilot was following along I should have just put it into some sort of approach mode or something that would have been easier there we go now we're up on course great Give it another stage of flaps. Get it down to 90 knots, which is where I want to land it. The aircraft is a little bit finicky on when it comes to that sort of stuff, but we're very, very smoothly bringing this aircraft in. I'm actually quite impressed. Just keep it nice and easy on this. I mean, last week my flights and my flights and world controls all reset, so it's a. I think my elevator trim's not quite where I want it. Or oh, sorry, not my elevator trim. My actual control axis for the elevator it seems very sensitive. So I'm gonna actually uh, before the next episode, I am going to dull that down. As you can see, look, that's literally I'm making mo movements of millimeters. It's like flying a helicopter. The ailerons seem okay, but the, the elevator certainly doesn't. Just line ourselves up a little better. Start using the rudder a little bit. Get ourselves a better positioning. And yep, certainly landing here. Oh, actually, that was actually a nice flight. That was actually a really nice flight. I don't think we're going to land dead center of the runway, but I'm okay with this. Just ease up on the throttles now. And it crashed. Well, even though it crashed, I think I'm going to end it there. I did land the aircraft very nicely. Thank you very much for watching. That seemed to be a SIM Connect issue. I'm going to have to have a look at that. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, thumbs up if you're watching this on Twitch, and do support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. I'm going to go figure out what on earth went wrong there. I'll see you guys next time.